Welcome to KTW Ministries, where we're touching hearts, changing lives, and building relationships. My name is Pastor Ken, and I'm really excited today about today's message. We're talking about how do you obtain success. That's right, everybody wants to be successful, but today we're going to give you some answers, and I know that you'll be blessed. So stay with us. We'll First be Timothy back. 4 8 says, For physical training is of some value, but godliness has value for all things, holding promise for both the present life and the life to come. That's 1 Timothy. My name is Evangelist Four. Priscilla. And one thing I'd like to share with you is that over the years, I've had many struggles with my weight. I've been up, I've been down, I've tried different diet plans, quick fixes, overnighters, and I've even lost weight before, only to gain it back. The one thing I realize now is not only with weight, but with anything, in order to make permanent changes, you have to change on the You know, inside. everybody seems to know the story about the Exodus. God sent Moses to deliver the people out of bondage in Egypt. A very compelling story. But there's a deeper meaning. I want to talk about that today. God was taking them from Egypt to the promised land, Canaan. It was a short journey. It could have been an 11-day trip. But no, that's not what God did. God took them through the wilderness. God took them through the desert. God took them through challenges. God took them through some setbacks. God allowed them to face opposition. All of these things challenged them. Challenged the children of Israel. Stay with me. It challenged them. But it also developed them. It touched their faith. It helped strengthen their belief. They got to the place in the wilderness where they sent the 12 spies over. The 12 spies went to do an exploration of the Canaan land. Oh, they found out that it was flowing with milk and honey. They found out over there it was plentiful. The grapes, the pomegranates, they were huge. They came back with the report. Out of the 12 spies, two of the spies talked about the fact that they could enter into the promised land. But the other 10 refused to believe that they could make it into the land of Canaan because of the giants, because they seen opposition. So how do we obtain success today? It starts with how we think. It starts with what's in our heart. No matter what type of setbacks you faced in the past, no matter where you are today, no matter what challenges or opposition that you have, believe and know that God's using those times in your life to strengthen you, to develop you, to prepare you for that special place and purpose that he has for you. So how do we obtain success? Keep running, keep believing, keep striving, keep pressing forward. No matter what happens, get up, dust yourself off because God has a purpose for your life. Be blessed, and until next time, we love you.